Hello everyone, Larry Snow, SJC Web Design here with another quick WordPress tutorial. This one is going to be on how to run PHP code on a WordPress page or post. So I came across this problem with a client of mine who wanted to run data from a MySQL database and I decided to try it out with PHP. I'm sure there's, there's other options out there but I thought PHP would be the best because WordPress actually is a PHP platform. So, ran it, uh, I thought it would work great, and nothing happened. Uh, what actually happens is WordPress erases the PHP code on a page, page or post. So to overcome that, I thought I'd look at the plugins, and there are a few plugins that will actually bypass and allow you to run PHP code on a page or post. So let's take a look. So looking at the uh, install plugins page, if you type in PHP, you can see how many there are out there. I decided to use exec PHP, but I've seen quite a few people use this one right here, the uh, PHP execution, because you can actually use it without turning on WordPress Visual Editor, and I'll show you that in a second. So I went ahead and I installed exec PHP. Here it is right here and where you have to turn off the visual editor is actually under your profile and we scroll down and right here we have exact PHP settings disabled WYSIWYG conversion select this option it won't actually run unless you check this off so here we are at my test page and just to go through the code rather quickly uh, the first set obviously is we're connecting to the database host name, username, password, db name, user table, pretty standard, standard stuff. Uh, we open up our connection. If it doesn't connect, it says unable to connect to database. And then we get into a lazy man's way of doing things, which is in a table. I didn't do it in a div yet. Uh, I hope to do that a bit later. And also you'll notice on the on the test page yes I don't have pagination yet so that might be in another video uh, let me just go back to the page and we'll go through the rest of the code uh, so we're gonna start with our table I know I'm gonna hear it in the comments with that one uh, table header first name last name email uh, we're gonna have an if then so that we can get them all uh, in an array and we can go right down the list and put it into the table then we close up the table with a TR and a table. A very simple code, like I said, I hope to add pagination in another video. So let's take a look at the page again. So it comes in through MySQL and spits it out right on a page. I didn't try it out on a post yet, but I assume that it would work in the same vein, or if you so choose, a div. So that is a quick tutorial. I'm hoping to keep my tutorials to about five to six minutes. Uh, so that you guys don't fall asleep and you can come back for more. So thanks for watching. Uh, please post your comments below. If you're looking for the code on how to connect to a database or anything that you've seen in the video, I'll be posting it on my website, sjcwebdesign.com, and I'll put the link in the description. Feel free to subscribe and like the video. Thanks.